Hello, my Aries. Welcome back. All right, let's go ahead and take a peek and see how you've been doing. Now, as always, it's a general reading, guys. So we're going to take what resonates. I read how I read. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. Okay, so in the pre-shuffle I was hearing, uh, you make it happen. You're going to make something happen. It's going, it's, it's going to be the right choice as well. I see increased, especially in like the work realm, you could get a lot busier either in eight weeks or the next eight weeks. There could be some communication issues. When I was saying that, I was hearing something about just now about that there could be some like communication is issues or like difficulties. We are in a retrograde, a couple of them, one of them being Mercury, um, which is always a good time. But regardless, something about eight weeks, increased work, increased busy, whatever it is that you do, it's going to increase. <clears throat> Yeah, and then I I also am feeling very much so like you're going to get something that you wanted. Definitely. You may get two things that you want. One of them, though, you could have been working at for a while, and the other thing is brand new. This is something brand new, completely. Yeah, but definitely happy news. The universe is going to bless you with something. Because you have been patient and you planted the right seeds. So in time you will be, you will be blessed. I also feel like <clears throat> there's somebody that watches you or will be watching you in jealousy. Especially when you get something that you want, this person, I feel like they're waiting for you, but I'm not sure if they're waiting for something from you or they're just waiting for you in general. But it's like they won't like what you get but you deserve it is what i'm hearing <clears throat> this person may may feel a little bit well there's definitely like jealousy but they could be an air sign it doesn't have to be air or earth perhaps um they may feel like the luck goes to you or they may want something that you get, depending on what this is, if it's a person or a job or money or, you know, there's just something, like I said, there's two things. And I think, I think that's what really makes this person jealous or will, um, just depending on where you guys are at. So that's, that's sort of what I'm picking up. You, you might not realize that, that this person is this way, but you will in the future. It's like they're way, they feel like, I, I just want to say, they feel like you owe them something. Whether you do or not, I, I, mean, I don't know. All right, um, universe, what's going on, please, for Aries? Show me what's going on, please, for Aries. Okay. <clears throat> See, I was getting that clean it up. So a lot of you are working towards something you're going to or you have been you know and I want to say like you've gone through the hard work of it but it continues to be whatever it is that you do has to be constantly maintenanced um, you do have someone helping you or you will <clears throat> You could have a little bit of trouble with help in general, 
but I do feel as if there's one person that will always be there to help you. And then the soulmates card. So again, this is a this could be, you know, someone you're already dealing with or some or a person coming up. I feel as if whoever this person is, it could be with the soulmates card, it could be some sort of, it's 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 a individual that cares about you deeply, cares enough to come over and clean something up. That's the type of, you know, so whoever that could be in your life, if it's romantic, a friend, a family member, but it's, I'm just feeling like someone's going to be coming in to support you more. Go the distance. There could be travel involved, but again, I'm getting this like, you know, you have a goal in mind and you're going for it. You will be successful in this. Some of you could be well known or in the public eye in some sort of way here. Um, but again, like the universe is going to give you someone They're kind of like to watch your back, it seems like. Or they already have given you this person. This energy feels n nice. So, you know, you will recognize this. For those of you that have children, I'm getting something about like, it won't resonate for everybody, obviously, but... Something about like climbing, be careful of your child while you're working or doing something like climbing up high, or maybe it's an animal, just seeing something small doing like a reckless, uh, something reckless. If it's not climbing, it's like, I don't know, I'm just picking up some sort of energy of like keep an eye on whatever isn't, you know, self-sufficient around you, whatever is like a child somebody you're taking care of. I don't know. I'm just getting like a risk for falling or something happening here. Just for a warning. Climbing. All right. <clears throat> what else is going on, please? For Aries and coming up. For Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You do have someone who cares for you deeply or they would be coming into your life. They could actually, you could work with this person in the future or you do now. I'm just feeling like somebody's coming to like do something for you. I don't know. All right, what's going on please for Aries? Okay. It's possible that Four of Swords, the death card, I'm feeling like some of you, um, your immune system may drop a little bit. Just for temporary, you need to get some more rest. Strength card here. You might need to change uh, something about, uh, just getting like something about rest. Or you might go into a little bit of a resting period. So yeah. Uh, immune immune system boosters is, is what I'm feeling like you may need here. But you will, um, uh, with the strength card, you will bounce back. And with the magician, bounce back and make it happen. Just like I said, um, you're a doer. And you don't give up. And, and But you may need to start getting more sleep. <laughs> Just picking up something. I love how the how the energy is them like telling you what to do right away. Nice. Yeah. You perhaps have someone in your life that's like that. Maybe that's why the energy clarify the magician. For Aries. Eight of Pentacles, see? A lot of you are gonna spend most of your time working building towards something, studying, working out, could be a blend of all three. I just feel like, you know, there's a lot of, you You realize, you will realize the power you have to change something. You could also, let's see, 
again, I'm picking up this air energy, Queen of Swords, uh, Ten of Wands, and the World card. There could be an individual, could um, this Queen of Swords here, regardless if it's masculine or feminine. Um, I'm hearing like manipulative in love. This person, there's like a lot of fighting. This is somebody that you've already dealt with, probably somebody that you've been with before. That's what it feels like. Um, you might be really ready to be, you might be done, you so done with this burden. This person, feels like an ex. I don't know if like they're gonna come in for another battle or what the deal is, but I, I just feel, I just see you kind of like having a lot to do and not wanting to deal with it. It's like, listen, I got so much going on. What, you're saying the same thing you said back in, you know, 2005, you know, it's something along these lines. I'm just feeling you really like, mm, okay. <clears throat> so. Yeah, it's like it's like some person that's still in your energy. That you're like connected to them in some sort of way. It's, but I feel like you don't want to be. <clears throat> not right now or not anymore. All right, what does Aries not see coming, please? Okay. Uh, two of Pentacles and Six of Wands. Again, I feel like someone around you, there's something like going on with this person. They're in two minds or they're undecided. You may not realize how different you, you and this individual are, but Six of Wands, this is the energy I'm getting from you. But I just see as this person's like looking over, it's like you don't see the, this, someone lacks confidence. You may also be kind of unsure about a situation or but there will be success in it because, because the six of wands is success it is being recognized so in some and, and so you're not seeing in an area that you're uncertain about you will have success For those of you that are starting in connections or have a connection, there could be a little bit of like a... This Mercury retrograde could be a little weird for it with this Two of Pentacles. The person might be indecisive or sort of they have other things going on, um, but there will be a success in a connection. I feel as if like whatever starts off a little rocky, I mean, maybe it isn't romantic, but will actually work out. So, whatever that applies to you. All right, Aries. Bye-bye.